welcome back. My name's Laura and I'm a fourth year medical student currently studying in the UK. This video is all about how to choose between medicine, dentistry and nursing when applying to universities and also how to answer this question if you're asked about it at interviews for medical school, dentistry school or if you have nursing interviews coming up. The general public often confuse these three professions, but it's really important that you're highly aware and critical of why you've chosen which one you wish to pursue. So in this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about the key differences and some of the similarities between these three courses. This video is designed to help you decide which one suits you best and also how to talk about it if you're asked a question at your interviews. So first of all, what is the core focus of each of these professions? So as you may be aware, if you study medicine, you will become a doctor and you will be able to work in both the NHS and the private sector. This means that you'll be treating patients on a daily basis, prescribing medicines, and also taking diagnostic procedures and treatments for these patients. A doctor has the ability to prescribe things as well as treat the patients. They will also create care plans, which will be followed by the other MDTs. As a doctor, you will be able to specialise into several different areas, such as cardiology, oncology, hepatology, and a variety of other things, such as surgery, radiology as well. So there's quite a vast amount of stuff that you can do after you've studied a degree of medicine. So dentists, on the other hand, are focused solely on the mouth and oral health of a patient. They will look into the teeth, the gums, and also the general health of people's mouths. There are different avenues that you can decide to take after studying a degree in dentistry, such as orthodontics, surgery, cosmetics, and there's a variety of other specialised areas after you've studied a degree in dentistry. Studying a nursing degree will enable you to become a nurse. This means that you will be able to help patients and understand the full type of care a patient requires. They will work alongside doctors and other allied health professionals and they'll provide care on a daily basis to patients, meeting the needs of each patient and working in the best interests of the patients. Nursing can lead you down several different avenues. You can either go into community nursing, hospital nursing, and there are specialty nurses as well, which will go into different details in the hospital and will help different sorts of patients. So some of the key differences are found even in just the course structure and the course content that each profession has to learn. For medicine, you will be studying around five to six years at university, and you'll also be having to sit several exams after university to progress up a ladder. In medical school, you'll be taught a range of different topics from anatomy to physiology to pharmacology. So it's quite a vast course and it is up to five to six years. You can also intercalate and add subjects to this as well. So then dentistry is also around five to six years and it is also focused on anatomy, physiology, but it's more specially focused around the head and neck area. They will need to understand anatomy and physiology. They'll also need to understand how to prescribe drugs as well. So it is quite similarly overlapped with medicine. It's just more solely focused around the head and neck regions. So nursing then is a three to four year course, and this involves a range of different topics, including anatomy, physiology, and it is heavily placement based. This means that you'll be in hospitals and dealing with patients on a regular basis. They heavily specialise in the ability to deal with patients and to have a very patient-centred approach. A nursing degree focuses on patient-centred care, including leadership, communication skills, teamwork, and also a very hands-on clinical approach. For nursing, there is often the ability to specialise whilst at university into different areas such as mental health nursing, paediatric nursing, or adult nursing. Some of the key differences to be aware of is the day-to-day -day role of doctors, dentists, and nursing. It's quite often confused as to how nurses and doctors differ whilst working in the hospital. But it's important, especially in interview, to be aware of this, as it is often a very topical question asked at medical school interviews. The day-to-day -day role of a doctor involves assessing, treating, and diagnosing patients, and then prescribing treatments for them. They work alongside the multidisciplinary teams and allied healthcare professionals to ensure that patients receive the treatment that they require. Nursing, on the other hand, is slightly different where the doctor makes the care plans, the nurses implement these on the wards. 
Nurses work very closely with patients and they spend several hours of the day with patients at their bedside and enabling them to receive the treatment that they require. This involves checking vital signs and monitoring patients every couple of hours, as well as giving the doctors prescribed medications to these patients. The majority of doctors and nurses will work within the NHS for most of their career. Whereas dentists slightly differ from this, working in private practice often, this means that they can work in a different variety of ways to the NHS and it is something that you may want to bring up at interviews. They can control their work hours and which sort of specialties that they want to have. So what are the main differential factors between doctors, nurses and dentists? Some of the key differences involve their ability to implement autonomy and decision making whilst in the NHS. So doctors will make care plans for patients with their treatment in mind after the diagnosis has been made. Nurses then are involved with the care of a patient on a daily basis, implementing the care plans designed by the doctors. Another key difference between doctors and nurses is the amount of time that patients will spend with each. Nurses will spend a lot of their time on the wards with the patients. This means that they can build up great rapport with patients and they have a much closer bond. Doctors, on the other hand, will usually carry out their ward rounds, assess patients and then disappear off to create care plans that the nurses will then follow. This means that the length of time doctors are with patients on an individual basis in the hospital is very much less than nurses. They will be less frequent in visiting the patients in comparison to nursing staff. However, they will still have a massive input into the care of the patients and the outcome of the patient. Each of these courses allow you to specialise at the end of them. However, there's a greater degree of specialisation in medicine. This is purely because it covers so much more of the body and allows you to specialise into such niche areas within this. In terms of work-life balance, which is really important nowadays, Dentistry would have a better work-life balance than most of the doctors and nurses in the hospitals. Their hours are more concrete and they have better shift patterns than both doctors and nurses. They usually have less on-call and nights as well in comparison to doctors and nurses. Medical schools love to ask the question, why medicine, not dentistry? Or why medicine, not nursing? I think it's really, really important to be aware of what the differences are. However, it is also really important to bear in mind that there are a lot of similarities within the courses. So here are a few of the ways that the courses overlap. So all three specialties have teamwork in common. It's really rare that you'll ever work solo as a dentist, doctor or nurse. It's really important to be aware that you need to have key teamwork skills and that this is going to be a daily occurrence. If you're in the hospital, you'll be working with other allied healthcare professionals, you'll be in a multidisciplinary team, and if you're in dentistry, you'll also be using other dental medical professionals to help diagnose patients and treat them effectively. Another key similarity is that they require you as a student and then future doctor, dentist or nurse to have empathy and really good communication skills. You require both of these to work alongside other doctors, dentists or nurses and also to communicate effectively with patients. It's often a really daunting experience to go to the dentist or to be in hospital. So to be able to communicate effectively with patients and other staff members is a real highlight when studying for any of these degrees. So make sure to mention this in your interviews. Another major similarity and one of the main reasons most students will ever go into medicine, dentistry or nursing is that you're able to make a real difference to people's lives. As cliche as it sounds, it is one of the main factors that most of us go into these professions. You can be providing care for such a range of patients from people requiring surgery, dental care or simply coming into ED with other causes of injury. So it's really important that you get this across in your interview and in your personal statement that regardless of which course you decide to choose, you're really going to impact patients on a daily basis. So if you are answering this question for yourself or in an interview, there's a couple of things you might want to think about in advance of choosing either dentistry, nursing or medicine. The first thing is to think about your strengths and your interests. It's really important that regardless of which one you want to go into, you really enjoy it and you have a passion for it. 
If you're studying for three years or six years, it's a long time and a lot of commitment. You have to be aware of what you're interested in and what you enjoy the most. It's really important that you can wake up each day and enjoy either studying or going to work. So choose something that you're passionate about and you also have a keen interest in. If you're a very holistic and caring person, then nursing is a perfect specialty. If you enjoy detective work and you're drawn to the idea of delving deeper to find better treatments for patients, then medicine is a perfect opportunity as well. I think one of the most important ways to decide which one of these that you'd want to choose is work experience. There's nothing better than getting hands-on work experience in a clinical setting. It allows you to experience the reality of the day-to-day -day lives of dentists, doctors and nurses. So try to find ways to get some experience, whether it's in a nursing home, in a dentist local to you, a GP surgery or in a local hospital. There are so many ways to get work experience and it's really, really helpful to be able to decide which sort of course would suit you better. If you want more advice on how to get work experience, Premed Projects has a massive page all about this that I'll link in the bio down below. So finally, a thing to think about, and I think possibly one of the most important things, is to think about what the future will hold for you. You might want to consider your work-life balance, what specialties are available to you after your course, and what your local area or the ability to travel will lead itself to. There are so many different avenues each of these courses take you down, so please, please think about this thoroughly before choosing which course. If this is for interview purposes only, make sure to be aware of what each of these professions are and to never ever diminish another profession. Everyone in healthcare is exceptionally important for the patient's treatment and patient's journey. So regardless of which specialty or course you choose, make sure that you're always able to help the others and be aware of what each specialty is really like. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this useful and I'll see you in the next video. Best of luck. Bye.